hi guys welcome back to another family guy reactions my name is victoria and today i'm going to be reacting to family guy season 7 deleted scenes it's a bit of a long one so definitely grab a snack and get comfortable and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe and like the video anyway now that that's all done let's just get right into it And stop looking so depressed, Brian. I'm sure one day you'll meet a girl who loves abortion as much as you do. That's not the point, Stewie. I'm just tired of every girl I meet being crazy. Oh, things will work out for you. Now come on, let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Oh, the very horny caterpillar. Wow, did you eat through all that food? Kinda. Oh yeah, this is so nice. This makes up for Quagmire's calls every day just to fill time on his drive home from work. Hello? Hey, Joe, what's up? Nothing, Quagmire. Just trying to work. Oh, yeah? What are you working on? Oh, come on, lady! Move it! Damn it! Why can't people learn how to drive? Idiots. Anyway, what, what are we talking about? You asked me what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, nice blinker! This guy's just sitting in the intersection with no blinker on. Look, Quagmire, I'm just trying to finish some work here. Listen, I'm pulling into my driveway. I gotta jump. I'll talk to you later. That's a great idea. Somewhere with hot guys. Somewhere with hot guys. Uh, I was going to say that. We could go to the Grand Canyon. Ryan, why would we want to watch a forgettable Steve Martin movie from the 90s? Not the movie Grand Canyon. I mean the actual Grand Canyon. Oh, I must have sounded ridiculous. <laughs> oh, get some brochures. We're going to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh. God, a time machine. This is really amazing. Yeah, I used to tell people I had it, but, you know, it ends up becoming a hassle. It's like having a pickup truck. You know, everyone finds out you have one and they all want to borrow it. Hey, Stewie, can I borrow your time machine? I want to see the Brooklyn Dodgers. Or, I should have married the other girl. Or, I meant to introduce Jim Belushi to drugs. All right, on three, we'll make for the closest U-boat. Oh, boy, I'm going to get claustrophobic. Those things are so cramped. Yeah, see how cramped you feel when whatever's left of you is packed into a bar of soap. Now get your whitey ass in gear. Wow, that is so beyond inappropriate. Come here, Brian. Every young guy like you should have his own MySpace page, so I went ahead and made one for you. See, I made your profile here. You're eight years old, you're white, and you like to get drunk. Oh, look, you already have a new friend. Why don't you send an email to this black guy with his penis out? Man, the world's getting smaller every day. Jesus, acting like you think I'm going to shoot him. He's a bigger downer than one of those Casey Kasem long-distance requests. Karen in Kansas writes, Dear Casey, when I was 16 years old, I fell in love with Brett. He was my first kiss. He was my first love. He was my first everything. Then one day, Brett told me that his feelings for me were feelings of friendship, not love. I was shattered. For months, Brett told me he just wanted to be friends. So I tried to be the best friend I could. Then I noticed that Brett would get really angry when I was with other guys, even though he was the one who said we should be friends in the first place. Brett moved to Ohio. I didn't hear from him for a long time. Then one day, I received a letter in the mail from his family telling me he died in a dirt bike accident. I cried all week. I went to the funeral. It was about 25 minutes outside Canton. Will you please play These Dreams by heart? Uh, so what kind of music do you ladies listen to? You know, Snow Patrol, Muse, The Fray. I like bands who just say, like, this is how we roll, so just, like, I mean, whatever, deal. I also like Entourage. I hate Entourage. You hate Entourage? That's gotta be sarcasm. You're funny. You should write for Entourage. All right, Frank, go ahead and hit this one. How'd you pay for all this? Let's just say I earned the money. <coughs> Boy, lucky for me, Herbert has that annual pie-eating contest. I'm sorry, fellas. This club is dead as Jesus' hand-modeling career. Paul Marlowe softens hands while you do dishes. Cut! Whoa, whoa, what's going on there? Jesus, what the hell happened to your hands? Uh, rough weekend. I don't really want to talk about it. Well, what are we supposed to do about those hands? Well... I can do this. So I can poop like a big shot. I want to poop like the Pope when he takes one of his Pope poops. The Pope of the Poop! Pope, you're making the Pope of Poopa? Yeah, I'm making the Pope of Poopa! Yeah, that was.
was the year I was working as a sheepdog. Morning, Peter. Morning, Ralph. Your songs don't make any sense. They're just loud and confusing, like Alan Arkin on a talk show. Today, we're joined by Oscar-winning actor Alan Arkin. Mr. Arkin, thanks for being with us today. Yes. Okay, uh, now that you've won an Oscar... No, not <laughs> today. Um, has winning an Oscar changed... Peter Falk. Actually, I haven't asked a full question. Yes. <laughs> Cleveland, will you please be smart about this? We asked Carter for 20000 If we take exactly 20000 he's going to know who did it. Chris Cross. Wait, that's not a crisscross. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not really a crisscross. Did, did I ever tell you that? I mean, you are my best friend. You, you know what? I'm, I'm going to quit the paper room. Why, why do I do that to myself? I, I get up at 5 o'clock. Do you know what time that is? Hey, hey, want to wanna go behind that shed over there and look at each other's junk? This isn't going to work, is it? No, but you can keep doing it. Hey, check it out. There's the fabulous Dustin Diamond. Hey, yeah, could any of you guys give me a ride to pick up my friend at the airport? Anyone? Yeah, we'll just leave that here. Now, we got to figure out the best way to infiltrate, which is why I had a scale model of Carter's house built so we could run simulations in it. Looks too small to get inside. That's the fourth time today I've said that, by the way. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you, you said... Oh, come on. Nobody thought that was funny. I gotta go, too. I gotta go, too. I'll, uh, take care of the tap. Oh! Oh! My God, Peter! How long have you had your foot in my crotch? Since the third pomptini. What the hell's wrong with you? You getting a thrill out of that? Don't flatter yourself, Joe. I feel like I'm stepping in dog do. <laughs> see what the big deal is. I like myself this way. It's a very big deal. I mean, did you even plan out this experiment? Or did you just throw it together like a Hispanic book report? The Red Badge of Courage is about a man with a badge. The badge is red. Red stands for courage. It was a very good book. I may not have finished it because the man that lives with us threw a lamp at my mother. I'm gonna make a secret pork in the freezer. in perfect hibernation. Hey, Papa Smurf, thanks for doing this for me. My pleasure, Brian. What is this, Windex? No, that's my pee. It's a little cloudy. I spent the morning smurfing off. Oh, I just got mad. Is that you, Peabag Fairy? Um, uh, uh, yes, yes, it's me. Go back to sleep. I knew you were real, Peabag Fairy. Good evening, everyone. Our top story, marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. Uh, we now go to Trisha Taganawa for a report on how awesome a flower looks. Tom, I'm lying here thinking how a flower doesn't know it's a flower. It just is one, you know. I, I forgot where I was going with this, Tom. <laughs> Look, Lois, ever since marijuana was legalized, crime has gone down, productivity is up, and ratings for Doctor Who are through the roof. I know, but selling pot at ball games? Ew, ew, mate, get away, you're sick! You think you're coming any closer? You're as mistaken as a thinking seagull. <laughs> okay, the fishing boats will be in soon. We'll fly behind them and scream like hell, and whatever they throw overboard, we get to eat. Um, do you think maybe we should just get our own food? You know, we, we have beaks, we can swim. Instead of scrounging off of others, maybe... Can I, can I, can I see you for a minute? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh. You, you, you want to be a hawk? Is that what you want? Because you're not. All right, you see any clutching talons down there? No, we have webbed feet. I know. Well, what are you going to do, paddle your food to death? Oh. You're going to find a little field mouse and paddle him to death with your webbed feet? 
Look, I just thought... You thought? You thought? How's that working out for you? Not very well. Not very well. I do not want to have this discussion again. <laughs> oh. Now she's mindless as zombie Reagan. Reagan eat brains. Reagan... Uh... Reagan... Forget where Reagan going with this. Reagan needs ride home. Well, Brian, if you won't let me guide you to God, maybe you'll find him in Cleveland's church. Huh, not what I expected. It's Cleveland and a bunch of white people. Oh, I bet you thought this was going to be one of those la 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 jumping up and down churches where everybody's dreaming about the waffles they're going to go have afterwards with two big scoops of butter, Boysenberry syrup. Yeah, I'll have a side of toast. Actually, do you have biscuits? Oh, perfect. I'll have that. All right, I'm going to go to the restroom before they bring the biscuits. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, Joe, these aren't done. The inside's colder than an Asian in-law. Mom, Dad, this is Alan. It's a pleasure Where to you. Where do you go to college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard, not real school. What you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? About 200000 per year. Welcome to family. <laughs> wow, Bonnie, you really took off the baby weight quickly. Oh, thanks, Lois. I've been watching what I eat, and Joe's been running me ragged in the bedroom. Come on, Bonnie, run! Come on, push it, push it! Come on, you suck! You're trash, you're a garbage person! You work for the town! <laughs> uh, yes, I had a four-day rental with unlimited mileage, and your associate here was just very rude to me about the fact that I did not fill up the tank. Uh, sir, if you read the rental contract, you will see you initialed return full. Well, that may be so, but if you look at my profile, you'll see that I rent from this branch at least three to four times a year, and I think that should be taken into consideration. Well, our opinions differ on that point. Oh, uh oh, here comes your supervisor, the Incredible Hulk. Uh, uh, I break things indiscriminately. Uh. <laughs> all right, Stewie, real men hate folk music and will always heckle it. I'll take six pence of coal for two pence of loyalty, six pence of coal for two pence of loyalty, six pence of coal for two pence of loyalty all the live long day. This is stupid! Your lessons aren't relevant to our generation! Go <laughs> home, you Carol Kane looking wife! But if you've got three pence of good wine and honey, then I'll give you four pence of peaches and paint. Everything old sucks! <laughs> first things first. Do you want a Jewish wedding? Why would I want it? A... Okay, just making sure you weren't one of those stealth Jews like Scarlett Johansson. Now, the wedding cake is covered. I already know who's gonna bake it. Hey, Fjord, you got my wedding cake? Yes, Piper. Take your cock out of here before I Google it up. <laughs> <sighs> Someday I hope to hear the ranking of my own wedding balls. <laughs> Why does he talk like that? <laughs> yeah, and that, that's really much it. Like I said, it was a long one, some good gems in there. Let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to react to any videos. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.